Moore's Law began over 50 years ago as an empirical observation of exponential growth of chip component counts and became an industry objective. Why is exponential growth so common in computing? Peter Denning and Ted Lewis take a new look at Moore's Law and the causes of exponential growth and the power of computer chips and systems and their market adoptions. So there's a lot of things have to happen together and that's why we, we introduced these three levels, is to call attention to these three kinds of things that are happening together. So how has this law, which says that the number of transistors on a chip doubles every two years, how does, how's, how's this work? How did it last for 50 years? We're such a high-tech field where everything is always changing. How does that become like a field invariant? So that's the engineering challenge, is each generation can we sh shrink the dimension and the X dimension, the Y dimension, by s down to 70% of what it was before. We put in between the two the, the system because uh, when you put chip, the chip by itself doesn't, is not a computer, it's just a component of the computer. So we have to build a computer with the chips, the memory, the input and output, the cooling fans, and uh, disk screens, drives. disk drives, all sorts of things have to fit into the system. And then that system becomes part of a network. So, so all of that, this, the individual computer systems and the network they're in, all have to be improving also at the same kind of rate in order to allow the using community to exploit the computing power that's available to them inside the computer. There's a symbiotic relationship between the um, markets that are available for computing and the physicality of Moore's Law, which I think sets it apart from other industries. Manufacturing the faster chip is the push, and the market demand is the pull. So you, we have to ask, if, if we're actually going to see chips doubling in speed and getting adopted. People have to be buying them and putting them in computers and using them. So there has to be a market for them. As the capability expands, the number of applications expand, mm -hmm. which provides revenues to feed back into <laughs> R&D right. to make the next faster yeah. system. People use computers in so many places, it affects all the other technologies anyway. What's remarkable to us, I think, is that this whole this is like a giant ecosystem. It's become a planetary-wide <laughs> ecosystem, and it functions. And one of its overall function is this exponential growth. And all the little pieces are all attuned to that. It's, it's pretty amazing that that somehow emerged on our planet. Find out more in Exponential Laws of Computing Growth, a contributed article in the January 2017 Communications of the ACM.